Hey folks, uh, Esley Caldwell here, acupuncturist with Caldwell Family Wellness. And uh, just want to talk a little bit about uh, the immune system. So, um, you know, we have uh, the COVID pandemic um, going on right now. We also have flu season, um, the regular flu season. Um, and there's always this time of year, some interest in how to boost the immune system naturally. Now, when it comes to COVID, um, you know, there's a lot of different things people talking about, whether it's social distancing, wearing masks, um, certainly those things can be beneficial, you know, certainly encourage you to follow those. Um, that said, um, as important is doing everything possible that you can to have your immune system working optimally um, so that you're able to, um, to deal with and address whatever germs come your way. Um, so a couple of things uh, in that regard that you can do. Um, now I have um, a blog that's on the website that I wrote a few years back that's still very relevant. Um, so I would suggest checking that out, talking about some lifestyle issues that you can do uh, as well as diet. Um, that said, um, a couple of supplements that you can take that can help boost the immune system. Um, and there's a lot of evidence to support this. Um, vitamin D is a big one. Um, and um, I recommend taking a liquid vitamin D. So whether it's a gel cap or as drops, a liquid vitamin D. Um, we carry some here, but you can get vitamin D anywhere. Um, vitamin D is something really, really important to take, especially in the winter months when um, the sun's not out, just because during the sun, during the summer months when the sun is out, we have a little more sun exposure, your body can't make vitamin D. Um, and so um, we need more of that uh, definitely in the winter time. And low levels of vitamin D are associated with a wide range of different um, illnesses and issues um, from types of cancer, uh, and then also a weakened immune system, weakened immune response. So vitamin D number one, and there actually has been some research showing that vitamin D can also help with COVID-19. When it comes to COVID-19, we want to be as much as possible. If we to happen to get it, it's much better to be asymptomatic than symptomatic. And so some of what I'm talking about today is a way to help um, us to become, you know, if we get it, to ha not have any symptoms of it, meaning that the immune system is able to fight it um, and keep it um, repressed, keep it at bay. So vitamin D is very, very important. Uh, another supplement that's important that you can pick up um, in a lot of places uh, is zinc. Um, zinc is very much uh, a uh, immune boosting supplement. Uh, the way I recommend taking zinc is as a lozenge because um, viruses tend and, and germs tend to want to colonize the throat and the um, mucosal lining of, of the nasal passages. And so having a lozenge in your throat, the vitamin, excuse me, the zinc can sort of act as a kind of a repellent and keep um, keep the germs from taking root there, okay? So those two are very important, vitamin D and zinc. Uh, and there is, has been some sort of initial evidence showing that um, zinc lozenges can be, and zinc in general can be helpful with COVID in particular. Um, another supplement that can be taken that can be helpful with COVID uh, is melatonin, okay? Melatonin is typically associated with being a sleep aid. That said, there has been some research showing that higher levels of melatonin may offer some protection against COVID, which is why some theorize children are less susceptible to COVID than adults because melatonin levels in the body tend to decline as we age. So taking a melatonin supplement may help you fall asleep easier uh, and it may also help with COVID. So um, that is something else you can get um, in a lot of different places, um, you know, uh, that could be could be helpful. So those are three supplements right there. Something else that we have been carrying um, here in our office for the last few years from a company called Steltec, uh, the Winter Balance and the Winter Tonic. Okay, these are homeopathic supplements. Um, homeopathy, briefly, um, is a type of holistic um, medicine where uh, you take an extremely diluted form of a substance. And when you take that into the body, it has sort of an opposite reaction. And so these are blends of, of homeopathic formulas. Um, they put this out um, every year. Um, 
and it has uh, homeopathic remedies for every single flu strain going back 100 years to 1919. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff packed into this. Um, that's in the winter, um, the winter bounce. The winter tonic has homeopathic remedies for um, so ma many of the common cold and flu symptoms that we get, whether it's um, the initial symptoms of, of fatigue and stiff neck and feeling achy, all the way into um, nasal symptoms, cough, congestion, um, uh, and other flu-like and, and cold symptoms. So um, this is sort of a comprehensive formula for prevention and also treatment of the most common winter illnesses. Now, not necessarily COVID, but everything else that's out there, this is something that may be helpful. And some of the fastest growing cold and flu um, medications, formulas on the market these days are um, homeopathic. So if you heard of acylocosinum, um, which is, you know, Walgreens and CVS carry that now, that is one of the most common homeopathic remedies in the world that you take at the outset, the initial symptoms of cold or flu to help keep it at bay. Uh, but there are other ones that, that I'm seeing now, with, again, Walgreens, CVS, Kroger's, where they have homeopathic supplements available over the counter that, that um, are just very widely accessible now, which is certainly a good thing. But this Celtech product really has a lot in it. It's a spray. It's easy to take. Um, you take one, actually I'm recommending taking two or three sprays um, a week um, now uh, as a prophylactic. And then if you start to feel sick, you take more sprays. Um, so um, this is something else that we recommend. Um, we have patients who have come in who this is what they take every year for the cold and flu and they don't get sick. So it can be helpful as a preventative to again, keep your immune system strong so that you're asymptomatic. So when things come in and get in your system, your own uh, innate defense is able to ward it off. And that's really a sign of a healthy immune system is that you may feel a little bit sick, but you don't actually take that dive into full-blown uh, illness symptoms okay so uh, those are just some thoughts that uh, I wanted to share this month um, I wish you all the best and I uh, hope to see you guys soon take care